Hello, Zero AD people. Alpha 24 now exists. It is here. It is here. And, um... Yeah, Alpha 24. Hasariosha. Hasariosha. Which is a name. That's a name to say. Uh, today... I will be defeating a very hard, aggressive AI in order to show you how easy it actually is. There are so many comments, Reddit posts, Discord messages, just everything saying, how do I beat the AI? How do I beat the AI? In, in, and various permutations of that sentence. And, uh, look, it can be done, and this is how. So, absolutely very first thing to do. Units. Build some units. I know there's some berries on this map, so I'm going for farmstead first. Uh, this is not necessarily something to be done, but uh, on a map where there's berries, just, just grab that farmstead straight up. These two units, I'm going to build a house, a house with. I'm going for wicker baskets straight up. Oh, units. Always need to be making units. So, select your civic center, hold down control, and press 1. Number 1. Your number 1 priority is making units. I usually make just 2 to start with. I then usually go for the 5, but in this time I've not done it perfectly correctly. Uh, yeah. So, about nine on the berries is good, and then even though women aren't super efficient at cutting wood, I will put the next three onto wood. Always, as, as often as you can at least, as long as you have the resources for it, you should be building in batches. Batches are faster than non-batches. As soon as I have the wood for it, I will be building a storehouse over here near this wood. Because look at that move. Look, look at how long that takes to walk from there to there. Too long, that's how long. More units, more units. When I only have two of these berries left, I will be taking five of these units off and building a field with them. Uh, I'm actually going to go for another raiding cavalry after these, this next set of three ladies. <laughs> Pardon me. Because it is good. And there's a lot of hunt on this map. So I don't want to be population capped at any point. So a house will be the next thing that I... Wait, why did they do that? The next thing that I do and uh, yeah we're all good okay so this horse went over here that's no good I want to go behind this uh, what is that a deer before I start attacking it so it runs towards the civic center now I don't have far to run audio cues are perceived more quickly than the than visual cues for the human brain. I will turn my sound up, even though it might bleed into the microphone a little bit. I'm all good for doing some stuff here. I'm going to go Celtic Slingers. What am I, Britons? Dang, OP. Uh, okay, so I'm going to manually send these ladies to there so that now they don't even have to move to, <laughs> to put their food back into where it goes. Keeping an eye on that also. Okay, so I'm going to want to do another house. What I've done is I've, in the options, set it to, was it game setup, I guess? What, general? I don't know, what, game session? One of these. Uh, snap to edges. I've hit set hotkey to disable. That's not the default. The, hot, the default is hotkey to enable. 
I've set it to hotkey to disable. So five slingers coming out there. And I'll go five more after that, in fact. DSD. So you'll need about 20 units to defeat against the first wave of attack from the AI. And actually, I'm just going to go. I should have probably built um, my storehouse a bit earlier. It's it's okay. It's not a massive deal. I'm going to set my war dog out for scouting just because. Yeah, the first enemy wave of attack will be of round about 20 units. So 20 units is enough to defend against that same attack. After those first 10 slingers, I will have no more stone left to build more, so I will build some more spearmen, even though ranged units have been buffed a bit. I don't know if it's all ranged units or just archers, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't think pigs run very far, so I'm not going to bother going behind them to start that attack off. What? I thought I built a house. I guess I didn't. Okay, pop capped. This is something that you just absolutely never want to have happen to you. You don't ever want to be pop capped. Pop capped is bad, but it's okay. I'll use the, the wasted time to build go to town phase. Even though that's also not really a good thing. The, the way that I like to do it is to have never a moment when you are not creating units so town phase comes after i've built my first barracks so i can still always just be always making units making units um yeah my war dog's getting attacked by something by the civic center in fact all right next house can come out just in time for the next set of that stuff to happen. And build some more ladies. So will I have enough wood to... Oh, I've got enough wood to do heaps and heaps of stuff. So I'm going to do heaps and heaps of stuff. Alright. So. So after every time that I set units to do something... I shift Q them onto going back to collecting resources or doing whatever else. So at the six minute mark, the first AI attack happens between seven and ten minutes into the game, roughly. And I still don't have my 20, so I'm going to want to go for some more spearmen, which I'll be able to afford soon enough. I'm going to go for iron plow. There's not super that much more that I need. Metal four anyway. <laughs> Housed again. Great. How good am I? It's supposed to be a demonstration of how to do things and I'm just being bad. I've had all this extra wood left for building houses and I just haven't been doing it. This is it's just terrible. Alright. Two of these ladies can come up here and already start building the field. I'm going to hold down control to disable the automatic snap. And then after the... Actually, I... Mm, okay. So what's that? Five? I do need more than five. I've got some spearmen and javelineers. I'm going to go javelineers. Another advantage that you will have over the AI, uh, AI, AI the AI is to uh, micro your units around a little. That's why uh, you'll be much better with ranged units than melee units in a versus AI situation. Going for the other, another house, going for another house. You'll be able to micro your units back and forth, back and forth. Before I set those to build the field, I'll build the next five ladies. So I'm looking at roughly about 20 military units. Not quite enough, but it's, it's adequate enough for the moment. 
I'm actually going to go for my second barracks, even though I won't entirely fully be able to populate from each one. It's it's perfectly fine. Alright. And down to this one is where they will go. After that, I think I'm going to grab... Hmm. Don't know exactly where to put this, but I'm putting it here. That's where it's going. GG. Uh, Valorant made a, an excellent point in his most recent video, uh, saying that baskets is a much more viable technology upgrade now than it has been in the past. Uh, it used to be that you didn't really 100% super really want to go baskets because it wasn't really that good. Now it's a lot better. Units have a turn time. So that just that just changes the game. Changes the game. The game has been changed. Another thing I saw him do is putting all of his uh Uh, unit creating buildings on the same hotkey, which I'm going to start doing. I used to separate them up into different ones, but it's just too much micro to go between each one and do this and that. Alright. And I should have a fairly decent amount of food, enough to build three healers, that's pretty cool. So we're at we're about to hit the 10 minute mark. I should have said 12 between 7 and 12 minutes is the first AI attack, um, not 10, because and I'm feeling like this time it's going to be the 12 minute one. I guess it depends on what civilization they have random. I am housed again. This is terrible. What am I doing? And I've got all this. Oh, here we go. So let's go. We should have enough to ESD? defeat this first wave. ESD? ESD? Roughly. Maybe not exactly, but we're, it'll be, you know, it'll be, it'll be good enough. What? Don't do that! You're trying to steal my thingy. It's a good distraction, actually, though. I've gone massive into ranged units there, which isn't 100% the greatest cool thing to do in the world, but we'll be okay. So we've defeated now the first wave of enemy attack. That's it. It's game over. It's GG. From now, you can just completely focus on building up your economy and doing not really super that much else. Not really super that much. Yes, Alright, yes, grab these horses and set them back to doing what they do. There's a lady here which I want to... I'm getting housed so often and this is just terrible. I've had all the... so many resources to not be housed. And I'm just being housed and it's just super terrible. I'm going to make as many of those as I can possibly make. I'm going to set those to there and these to here. Alright, how many ladies do I have that aren't farming and are just out in here? Okay, that many. I'll use them to do that then. Don't exactly know what I shift queued up there, but, you know, we'll be fine. Okay. So, we're doing alright enough for population at the moment, but I'm still going to want some more houses. I'm not really putting them in any particular place. I know that I'm going to be able to defeat the AI before they do any thing, basically, so I'm just not really... Wait, what? I swear that I told them to do what it... Okay, whatever. Whatever. Alright, yeah, because now stone is going to be a big thing that I'm going to want to start getting a lot more of. If I want to go hard into slingers. 
Just always checking buildings. Is there any building that doesn't have units building? Well, set the, set it to have units building. I mean, come on, what are you doing? This guy's expanding already, which I'm actually gonna go right ahead and deny. What is he? What civilization is this? Some one of the Hellenic ones, I guess. I don't even know what that word means. I usually don't uh, deny this expansion, but I'm I'm doing okay. Okay enough to to deny it. Probably housed again, yeah. That'd be right. I really need that at this point. So much. Food. I went <laughs> way too early into food, but it doesn't even really super that much matter because whatever, bro, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not phased. Okay, so I really don't need stone right now, especially considering I've got not enough wood at all. What's this? Stop doing that! Alright. So, we've got a boar over here that we haven't done anything with, so we'll do something with it. We will, we will try to use up as much of our stone as we can, considering we want to keep wood just to be not housed. <laughs> We're not, not doing too good on wood. What's this? Stop it. Alright. Get that. Still, this housing situation is pretty terrible. Too many units building in, I mean, uh, collecting in one area. It's not really, not the best of things. Not the best of things. But we will be okay. There's a problem here with the pathing which will send these units all the way around. Unless I do that, that might help. Housed again. Alright, so we're doing pretty much okay. This guy super wants to expand. I'm just not gonna let you. I'm just not gonna let you expand, bro. Just don't. No, drop off your stuff and then do that. Okay. Yeah, and uh, probably Wilbur. I've got. Um, <laughs> I have so many resources that it's not even funny. I'm gonna start getting my... The third phase buildings ready. Since I have so much wood. Hmm. I'm not really going to be doing any trading, so I'm not going to bother with putting the market in a place that's going to be far away from the other market. Whatever. Stop! These guys, they just... They just keep... They just go. Just don't. Can be housed again. So... I'm going to do that and then that. These guys, I'm going to start doing what uh, I would be doing if this was against people, which is stopping off any ram attacks. Grab my two horses. Take that out. Yo, stop it. Okay. I haven't been unit building often enough. 
I'm going to actually have to have two sets of units building buildings. Alright, I don't know, there's not much else to say. They're not going to have the capacity to really do any more attacks on me. You must have phase threed. As if you would. So I've got all this food, which is actually kind of good. It's not a super bad strategy, that, because now I can just use all that food to buy metal. I mean, I should have been mining metal instead, but it's not a big deal. It's not super a big deal. I should have this done, you know, about the 30 minute mark, which is pretty good. So I have my forge. I'll go for hack resistance. Alright. Oh, I can make so many slingers. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make so many slingers. Oh, I have all that food, so I can do that. Phase three now, so I can build my fortress. Just need the wood for it. I'm carrying enough wood for it. So let's do this. Fortress and then rams into destruction. I haven't really super explained myself totally greatly. Um, <laughs> it's not super possible for a person to just watch this and understand how it is that I'm winning so strongly, but I don't know, just, I don't know, you can see it at least, I mean, you might not have heard the explanation, but you can like, see it, <laughs> right? Like, just do the things that you see. Uh, hey, I can get stronger eggs. And then make sure not to get housed again. Alright. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so none of the civilizations, I guess, <laughs> have their siege weapons in fortresses anymore. They're all... It's all about siege workshops now. Nowadays. That's not good. I don't want that. That's better. Alright. I mean... There it is. Like, that's... Uh, here's... This is what you do. Check it out. How's lol? Alright. Uh, cannot attack fields or organic units. That's changed. Rams used to be able to attack organic units. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I should have probably got built the population bonus thing earlier on. If your micromanagement is good enough that you can build enough houses, it, it's cheaper to do that than getting this upgrade. Up to a certain point, actually. It depends how many houses you have, I guess. 
but it's still better to build houses because you can do them for use them for protection and things like that. Anyway, um, once these three rams are out, it's uh, it's pretty much GG. So uh, yeah, let's get a little fighting force together. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's win the game. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where is my forge? Not called a blacksmith anymore. I'm still hearing people calling them blacksmiths. A blacksmith is a person. A forge is the building in which a person who smiths black exists inside of. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? You understand? Yes, Steve. Good. I'm glad you understand. I'm glad we're on the same page here. I don't want my those to be part of the formation. And yeah, it's it's GG. I'm gonna set this straight for the CC and we're done in less than 30 minutes. Less than 30 minutes to beat very hard, aggressive artificial intelligence. How about that? How about that? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Although Britons, it seems like, are actually still overpowered. Which annoys me a little bit. <laughs> but whatever, well, it's fine. No big deal. As long as I can get a surround off on this tower, it'll be able to be destroyed. There's too many buildings in my way, so I'm gonna uh, just get rid of that building. There we go. Is the AI worse in this version or what? Like, this, this seemed ridiculously easy. Maybe they're bad at playing uh, whatever civilization it is. Civilization is this? Whatever. A 25 minute GG for very hard aggressive AI. How about it? Oh no, they did get one expansion off up here. So it will take a little bit longer than 25 minutes. Delete. Delete. I don't think I need units in there to be able to hold that. My territory expansion is good enough. Oh, so they've given me houses for free. Usually they delete them. Lol. Mine now. Mine now. <laughs> I could actually just take that over. But I'm going to destroy it because there's like a new... Uh, I don't know if it's new, but... When the, this building is below a certain amount of health, it'll look different. I think it already looked different already. I think there's multiple levels of it looking different. Yeah, there are. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, it just gets more and more destroyed. That's a 26 minute GG. I mean, where... Are, what else do they have? I guess they still have some units which would be capable of doing some stuff. Huh, not only can they not attack... Fields! Interesting! Fields was the other thing. Alright. So, they still have units available which are capable of building civic centers, so it's not quite GG yet. 
it. Wow, that was... That was so fast. Stop stabbing my... Rams. Ram stabbers. You're ram stabbers. That's what you are. Where are they taking... The resources to? That? That's a house. What do they have that I don't see? Hmm, nothing. All right, that was a 27 minute GG against very hard, aggressive AI. It can be done. In fact, it is quite easy. I need to build an, ooh, an Emine Marcha. I haven't seen this before, so I'm just gonna, just gonna build it. Just to see what it looks like. Have some upgrades. Prato. Prato. DSD Prato. Need some more stone for another DSD Civ Center. Yeah, am I in matcha? Cool. Wait, what was that? Built by... Oh, okay. Okay. Some upgrades. Yeah, this is cool. It's a big round thing. You'll be able to see it in two minutes. That's quite a long time, though. How about we send some more? Yeah, look at this thing. Hmm. It's a house inside of a house. It's a house with a built-in house. Very cool. Okay, well that's how you beat the AI, I don't know. Don't get housed. Works well, in order of importance. Build units as often as is physically possible. The game just froze a lot. Whoa! What is happening? Everything's freezing a lot. Whoa, weird. Anyway. In order of importance, number one, 
If you are able to build units, you need to be building units. If you are not building units when you are able to be building units, you are just... Be more careful. <laughs> just be more careful. <laughs> Two, don't get housed. So that you can continue to keep building more units. You just, just build more units. Three. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, just <laughs> build more units, bro. That's how you win. That's how you win this game. You build more units. I don't know what else to say. Like, just find out every single part of your gameplay that is restricting your ability to be building more units and improve that aspect of your gameplay. Like, just focus in. Watch your, your replays. Watch high-level players' replays. Watch, watch Valorant on YouTube. Watch Tom Zero AD. Watch Zero AD Newbie Rush. Watch Agora Zero AD. Watch the YouTubers who are good at it. Don't watch me. I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm like average. I'm like, what, 1400 ranked? Nah. Nah, watch, watch these people who are good, actually good at the game. Um, and <laughs> and I, I don't know what else to tell you. Build more units and have a nice day. Goodbye.